Welcome to the Monday Mycotoxin Map and Crop Report for the 2014 season, presented by Neogen Corporation. I am Adrian Acuna, the Territory Manager for the Milling and Grain Group. We collect confirmed reports from many sources to provide you with this macro overview of mycotoxin levels in grain across the U.S. and Canada. Please be aware that several variables affect mycotoxin growth and distribution and always monitor your levels. Neogen is very excited to introduce a new way to view these informative reports and to be a part of the Mycotoxin Reporting Network. It's an app called NeoMyco and it functions from any smartphone or tablet. We welcome you to join the Mycotoxin Reporting Network by submitting the levels you're seeing in your area. If you send us a Mycotoxin report from our app, we would like to send you a coupon for your next morning coffee. You can download the app from our website or pushing pause now and either scanning the QR code or clicking on the link below. We have confirmed Don reports in new crop wheat in North and South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Maryland, New York, Delaware, Minnesota, Iowa, and North and South Dakota. We now have reported Don in Canada, in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Nova Scotia. We have confirmed Don reports in Barley in Virginia, Delaware, North Dakota, Montana, and Idaho. Spring wheat harvest is now completed as well. Many states have reported high sprout damage in wheat and barley from excessive rain this year. This week's USDA drought map reports drought conditions remain in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Georgia, and Alabama. Last week's weather brought some precipitation across U.S. corn production areas. However, warm temperatures advanced crop maturity. This week's USDA weekly weather and crop report shows that overall 93% of the corn crop is fully mature versus 94% long-term average. USDA reports the overall corn crop as 74% good to excellent condition, the same as last week. Corn harvest is progressing with 31% of the acres finished versus 53% long-term average. Pennsylvania, Illinois, Iowa, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Nebraska, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Missouri are behind normal harvest progress. We now have confirmed reports of aflatoxin in corn in Texas, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Michigan, and Virginia. We now have confirmed reports of fumonisin in Texas and Louisiana. Iowa, Ohio, and Michigan have done reports in their new crop corn. We will be updating all our maps as new information becomes available through the rest of this year's harvest. We are pleased to present the weekly mycotoxin and crop reports for the 2014 growing season. As always, we want to thank all of our testing partners who participate in making this service possible. For more information on Neogen's full line of mycotoxin testing products and services, go to www.neogen.com. We appreciate your interest in Neogen solutions.